there has always been rivals in the gaming console world. For example, Xbox vs PlayStation, but we don't talk that much about the gaming controllers. So today we'll talk about the top 5 worst gaming controllers of all time. Some of these controllers are really bad, so buckle up and be ready because here we go. Atari Jaguar You know the feeling when you are in the middle of a really intense game and you don't want to lose. Having a good controller can be essential in these moments. This controller has a lot of buttons and is hard to press when especially playing an intense game. You will most probably press the wrong button and then it's game over. Some people say it doesn't look that bad, but when they try it, they do not feel the same way. And if we're gonna be serious, this looks like more than a phone than a controller, so yeah. The Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64 console were great. I think a lot of people really enjoyed it, but the controller was awful. If you just paused your nostalgia a little bit and listen to me, I will tell you exactly why I said so. The N64 controller makes no sense. It has two D-pads on the opposite sides for some reason. I have never played a game where I need two D-pads at the same time. The most funny thing is that it has three handles. Does that mean it's built for people with free hands? Because that's really confusing. In a while, we learn to ignore the left side of the controller. But why even have a left side at this point? The controller sticks also broke very easily, so a lot of parents got frustrated at their kids because they had to buy new ones. So this is just a really weird controller with many unanswered questions. We'll hope this never happens ever again. The Power Glove The Power Glove is the Xbox Kinetics Precessor. This is one of the earliest attempts ever to make wearable electronics. This seems as a new cool ID, it really wasn't. As this released in 1989, it didn't have the advanced electronic many gaming controllers have today. You could make gestures with the power glove to control the game you were playing, but as 1989 electronics wasn't that advanced, it was hard for the Nintendo to pick up the signals when you were trying to make gestures. That could make you mad at the game you're playing because you can't use it properly. But remember, this is just one of the many flaws this gaming controller had. Another big flaw is that they tried to put a lot of buttons on your forearm, which is a really terrible location when playing a game. Sadly, this controller inspired a lot of other awful gaming controllers through the years. This controller performed really bad and they stopped selling it in 1990, just one year after the release. That really wasn't a big surprise, they should have saw what was coming. Intel Wireless Gamepad Intel has not created their own console, but they have surely created a super weird gaming controller. People have said it looks like an airplane pillow, a toilet seat and a horseshoe. It's hard to play with this, and not many people understand why they have made this weird controller. There was no way for us not to add this on the list. Philips CD1 This sounds like it is a TV remote, but it actually isn't. It is a gaming controller, it's not just a normal one. It's one of the worst controllers ever. At least you can play games without the controllers. This is so much harder because it looks like some kind of remote. Both the controller, console and games were bad. This was just one of the worst consoles in the video gaming history. Imagine being one of the biggest companies in the world and failing this hard. That can't feel good at all. As you can probably tell, this console didn't sell good at all. It's